Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Two things, uh, Honorable SG, before we pick up calls. Uh, one issue is that of uh, the former head of state. Uh, we had some sentiments coming from the head of state now that uh, ECO is likely to be arrested if uh, he embarks on the path of abrogating the law. What did you pick from that press when he talked about ECO? Again, do you think, or you, I know you, are, you, are come, you come from the public front, is your, your boss or maybe your former boss, you know, trying to test the wheels of justice or trying to push President Akende Chirema? President Rungu is a lawyer. And now I understand why lawyers call themselves Leonard. <clears throat> he understands his limits and he operates within the confines of the law. Tell me what offense he has committed. Going to church. Maybe this exchange. Mm. Let me interview you. Are you thinking, Mr. IPS, is normal to say that uh, ECO should not go to church? ECO can't, go to, ECO can't go to the market. You answer me. I'm rightly ECO thinking right can't, as, a, as a presenter, you know, as a moderator. So answer me. The so, government is saying that ECO is not like another you know, person. It's not like IP. It's not like Honey Borafo and Akachinda. He's a former head of state who has been in that helm before, or in that office before. Hence, if he wants to make a move, it is imperative for him to inform the state or the police for his own sake. Which is own sake? For his own protection. They are the ones who undressed the former president. When the former president said, I'm back in active politics, what did they do? Every police officer they took. Isn't it hypocrisy? That now you are saying, when he moves, inform us because for your own sake. What nonsense is that? The greatest form of protection for any politician is a human shield. If people believe in you, they'll protect you. And the, I have advised my elder brother, Mr. Aka Indechirema, if you want to have no headache of Edgar Chagwarungu, ignore him, fix the economy. Edgar will be very lonely. The magnet that attracts people towards Edgar Chagwalungu today is fueled by the high cost of living. So when they see Edgar, they remember Unga Wenzochipa, Adada Tufuna Mbwerelepo, Ahu Mwandi, Fiuwe Wenzochipa, Dola Eze Pans, Vonse Tenzo Kwani Samarungu, Perhaps that's a distraction the government is, uh, you know... It's not a distraction. ...is unhappy with. Actually, let me tell you... When you talk about distraction, I can add more to it, because remember, we've been told that even the cardinalism we are seeing around the city is because of uh, his comeback to politics. This yeah. country was... You know, the, the, that's a... We are told that the that's a, outbreak, which were ravaged the country, I think, some months ago, <laughs> it was because of Israel's comeback. You know, there's a narrative... Hmm. Because uh, we are aware that it was an attempt even to declare a state of images. But the narrative is that, and I want to take this opportunity as Secretary General of Patriotic Front to advise all members of Patriotic Front from top to bottom. This business of us accepting propaganda from UPND, even when you know it's a lie, should stop. In the name of trying to look nice, let's tell the truth. The most violent political party in the Republic of Zambia is the UPND. They are the ones who came with the Mampatiza formula. Look at the statistics. 
The UPND, when they were in opposition, in their strongholds, whenever there was a by-election, there was violence. But in the strongholds of the ruling party, PF, and other political parties, when there was a by-election in that area, there was never violence. Today, the Soniso will go on television and say, those who have risen are youths who were beaten by UPND. The UPND were deliberately provocative towards the PF. The seen PF cadres made, who was not fighting, the seen UPND, I mean, Patriotic Front youths committed, was walking in the streets, hello, and wearing, you know, at America, and all those uh, moving in convenience in people on the streets. But if you want to see violence, it's UPND. I went to Choma, a town just next to my village, to go and bury my provincial chairman. UPND were telling me in my face as I was giving a speech to the Indrabo Utima Kamena Bazime, to the Guaya Sama Naifi Sumaebo, to the Guaya Sama School Drive, to the Gujai Devo. In the face of cameras, nothing happened. Did you report them? The back? national youth, the national vice youth chairman, Trevor Mwinde, was there listening, and I'm telling him, You've seen your youths, what they are. Talking about. You can never see that in Patriotic Front. And the PF is not the first political party that I've joined. I was also a member of MMD. In MMD, no such barbaric acts used to happen. Yes, they were Jimbos, but they were disciplined. In UPND, no. Because their president can go on the copper belt and say, I heard some people calling themselves a snake because President Lung went to church and repeated the metaphor of Jesus Christ where he was advising his followers, be harmless like a dove, but shrewd like a serpent. And he says, that's the principle I apply in my life. I may not be, I may be harmless like a dove, but I'm not stupid. That's how come I became president. The president says, yeah, no, we know how to deal with green members. As a rancher, I always carry the shotgun to shoot at green members. What are you saying to your youth? Who interpret what you are saying? That's being reckless. There is always presidential decorum, presidential language. You measure what you say because of the implication of what you are saying. Are you insinuating that uh, President Akendesha doesn't censure what he says? It's not insinuation, insinuating. I'm telling you, where did we hear? Taturiku Gwengwa Motara to Gwembera Ngombepe, Taturiku Mu President. Kurimbo Ubandigwa Mu President. Ta Ubandigwa Mu President. It is a Vyabakurangira Ngombepe, Omboja Ira Pepe. Our no is a country. Your bosses want to hear you talk what you are going to do for them, having employed you as president. And the bosses is me, you, the Zambian people. All of us are bosses to work in the chair. Let me get your comment also in regards to the you know the, 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 the issues, the court issues surrounding the former face family. We've seen uh, Mama Esther Lungu, she's, been, she's in court as we speak right now. Again, we saw her together with almost the entire family, all the children. They were summoned by the Drug, Drug Enforcement Commission over some, you know, stories to deal with um, proceeds of crime or owning properties that are reasonably suspected of proceeds of crime. What is your take over these issues? And the government is saying no one will be taken as a sacred car. <laughs> Nobody is going to be protected. I, am I, I can only appeal to Mama Mutinta. She should know that uh, it's not a crime to be married to a, a politician. And it's not a crime to be married to a president and also a former president. And it's a shame for us as a country 
I remember trying to move a motion in Parliament of restitution towards the family of the Chilubas. Chiluba having served the Republic of Zambia for 10 years, every little investment that his friends and supporters tried to make for him to live with and buy after the presidency was taken away because of this Zambian culture of vindictiveness. That whole episode of the so-called fight against corruption. Today we have people like Aaron Chungu and the Faustin Kawa in prison. When you examine the, the cases and what transpired, they don't have, they are not supposed to be in prison. Vindictiveness. Today in this country, you know that we have received the a foreign country, a foreign bank called Access Bank from Nigeria, and we are glad to go and open accounts from there. But we had our own Access Bank run by Zambians, which could have possibly been across the continent and beyond, and we should have been proud of it. We killed it. The former Bank of Zambia governor is walking, being celebrated on the streets of Lusaka having successfully killed the Zambian initiative. And we're not, you know, courageous to talk about these things. The question I want to ask, in all this so-called fight against corruption, have you ever seen any white person there? Have you ever seen any Indian there? Have you ever seen any Chinese there? Or these foreign, you know, brothers and sisters? Never. We will kill a Zambian. But we are alleging that they were in corrupt relationship with the Chinese. The Chinese will even get another contract. Who is building the Ndoa Duo carriageway? Is this a Zambian contract, contractor? No, it's a Chinese. If you investigate possibly the same Chinese, you are saying they were corrupt because they were contracted by PF. That we, are, we should be ashamed of ourselves. What is it that Mama Esther is being pursued, pursued over? Flats. A set of flats for a wife of a former president. Sometimes that will send them. What is the chase to the daughter to President Lungu being you know, pursued over? A lodge. Huh? With the Accountable rooms. Please. Even if it's poverty mentality, that is too much. Let's pick up a few calls. Honorable Rafael Nakashinda, I hope the director can permit us just about 10 minutes as we started the program a little bit late. You can call me the numbers right on your screen. I have uh, Honorable SG Rafael Nakashinda, of course, as my guest on the program. Kola, good evening and uh, welcome to the program. Uh, good evening. Uh, please uh, try to speak up a little bit louder. Come again. Come out, but I don't want to have to. Go see our Sam Vandiga. Yes, please. I'm uh, increasing the volume. Uh, Mr. Proud, just hold on there. Just hold on a little bit. Are you able just to maintain? Yes, 
Are you able to moderate your language, uh, Dr. Proud? All right, uh, sorry, Dr. Proud, I had to cut you. Uh, as you call, please, let's ensure that uh, we maintain our language and censure our language is quite important because that may turn this program into a, a source of confusion or a circus to solve. Uh, Kola, good evening, and welcome to the program. Good evening, Good evening, tell us your name, please, and where are calling us from. Good evening, I'm Kamalishana. There is a abduction of the children. appreciate you. All right, you can call me. The number is right on your screen. Ensure that before you call me, you reduce the volume on TV set. And also, we remain moderate in our language. And also, let's not bring in people or family members that are not here. You can ask all the burning questions to Honorable and Nagashinda. You'll be able to respond to that. Kola, good evening and uh, welcome to the program. Good evening, tell us your name please and where you are calling us from. Are you able to just speak a little bit louder? Please go ahead, Mr. Kapinga Julius from Kitwe. Go ahead, go ahead. Okay, I'm going to pick up uh, just uh, two more calls from there. We wind up uh, Honorable SG uh, with the program. You can call me. I'm going to pick my last two callers from there. We call it a night. I have already a caller here. Caller Green, and welcome to the program. Caller Green, and welcome to the program. Good evening. Tell us your name, please, and where are calling from. Thank you. Tell us your name, please. Yes, please. Okay, I'm sure he's listening. Go ahead. <laughs> he's listening. Go ahead. But I come from there. Yes. Mm. What? What? Why is he taking offense? I come from there myself. <laughs> yeah, you can just contribute. Uh, don't threaten uh, the guest. Just contribute. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm sure you will respond. Okay, has you permit me to pick my last caller? I know you are yearning to yeah. respond, but uh, let me just pick up my last caller from there. I'll give you time to uh, to give you a reaction. All right, I have in the studio Honorable Rafael Nakachinda coming from the federal front as the Secretary General. is here to respond and also clarify on a number of issues. Caller, good evening and welcome to the program. You are my last caller. 
Kau itu mana Malaysia? Kau itu Please go ahead. You got a minute. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Honey boy, you can uh, give a reaction. I'll give you just two minutes. We close the program. Uh, first of all, I want to uh, encourage the UPND members to pay particular attention to the substance of what we say. Uh, when I use, you know, a cliche, and uh, in a, in a, on a lighter note, remember days when we were in the village, which Mr. Kainde Ichirema himself prized himself. If he also, I know that he grew up in the village just like myself. And he talks about it. He should be proud of himself. When I say, why should he feel insulted? Because that's our heritage. It's our pride. We were and we are proud of our culture. Looking after animals is the pride of every Tonga. But there's a distinction between looking after animals and looking after human beings. Being at your farm and being at the house. That is not offensive according to you? How can it be offensive? I'm asking you, that's the concern of the caller. Which concern? I mean, he's just being myopic in his judgment. How, if, for example, you tell me that uh, looking after animals, and as much as I may be successful, is different from looking after human beings. How can that become an, an offense? Isn't it different? Is it the same? We have to go. Thank you very much. Proud has just demonstrated as a UPND member. They are so petty that the only response to all the issues we have raised is an insult. They insult from top to bottom. Press briefing, two hours, talking about ECL, calling people thugs, calling people all that. That insulting language, because the leader reproduces his own kind. That insulting you know, language comes from the top. It permits, permits in the... the boys, thank you so much for coming. Thank you very much, and God bless, and we wish Zambia well. 2026 is coming. All of us, let's get ready. Register to vote and get ready to stand video until you cast your vote in 2026 to rescue Zambia from what is going on. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. All right, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.